Welcome back, Patriots. Welcome to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world gather in defense of liberty. I'm your host, Bill Bailey, who will be channeling the patriotism of America's founding fathers. As you can see, I'm in my uh, lovely outdoor studio today here at the gas station. Um, was weeding this morning. It's like 90 degrees out. Br brutal out working in the garden today. Uh, Renee and I got our hike in. I mowed. As you can see, the, everything's mowed behind me. Most of it's weed whacked. Um, the trails, we got about between three and four miles of uh, hiking trails. They're all weed whacked, so i um, kind of caught up for the moment. So let's get to the news. Um, where to start? Um, we have two nuclear submarines parked at South Korea because the little corpulent warlord, uh, Kim Jong-un, is uh, launching missiles every other day. Remember, Trump sent those B B-2 stealth uh, bombers, nuclear bombers, you know, and they are a um, uh, state-of-the-art, I mean, um, incredible uh, weapon of war, a, 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 B a stealth bomber, uh, flying along uh, the... Um, uh, North Korea's border, and uh, Trump reigned the little corpulent warlord in right away. The next thing, they were shaking hands at the uh, uh, the demilitarized zone. Remember that? Uh, and had a great relation. I mean, hey, better to have a good relation uh, with our enemies and have them not trying to take us to nuclear war. Uh, you know, you, you know, you got to communicate, and Trump gets that. Um, so we have two nuclear subs parked there. Um, the war in Ukraine is full speed ahead. Um, I don't I don't see anything stopping it at this point, uh, short of uh, Donald Trump. Uh, we have a regime right now that wants war, and I'm not so sure that Biden, who's you know, the guy is acting schizophrenic. By the way, he, he's he's delusional. Um, what did he say? I I cured cancer. I told you I'd cure cancer, and it's done. I mean, he's you know. Um, Used to say they're a ha he's a half a can short of a six pack. No, he's like uh, five and uh, three quarters cans short of a six pack. Uh -um. We're sending cluster munitions. F 16s are coming. Abrams tanks are coming. I mean, they're just going to keep, you know, it's mission creep. Um, Poland, um, you know, I just, I could spend an hour just on what's happening in Ukraine by them. Uh, the overarching theme is it's it's leading to World War III. Um, and then um, Iran is close to doing a nuclear test. That's that's the rumor anyways. Um, would have never happened under Trump, folks. I'm, I'm just, just a fact. Um, our currency wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't be, I mean, we're about to lose world reserve currency because brain-dead Joe thought he would de-dollarize Russia and really, you know, bend them over the barrel and um, take them off the SWIFT system. And when they weaponized the dollar like that, something we've never did, other countries that thought, you know, what if America tries that with us? You know, maybe we better get into another currency and figure something out. And so enter the BRICS. And they're talking about tying that in some fashion to gold and blockchain technology. Who wants dollars anymore? Uh, when all America does is overprint their currency. Uh, and, it, you know, it's sad, folks. It's not going to be good um, to lose world reserve currency status. Um, but the money printers, you know, both sides of the part, both parties, um, really starting with George W. Bush, the, the bank bailout. We've got a, remember George, he said something, he, he's an idiot. I, you know, I used to respect the guy and I just back in the day when he was president, and uh, I just didn't know him like I do today. And um, I remember him saying something so ignorant. Uh, we've got to leave capitalism to save capitalism uh, with, you know, printing money, uh, this Keynesian economics. And then uh, Senator Obama at the time running for office said, George W. Bush takes out a loan, you know, from the Bank of China and borrows more money than... Uh, George Washington to William Jefferson Clinton combined, and it was true. He did. I mean, he printed an ungodly amount of money. And then Barack Hussein Obama came in and made George W. made George W. Bush look thrifty 
Uh, I think Obama printed like almost ten trillion dollars. And then Trump came along. Uh, the economy was in dismay. They had dilapidated. We had a, a dilapidated military. Didn't even have ammo for some guns. Airplanes that you know grandpas flew in in the service that were still in service. And he put like three trillion dollars in our military. Um, and he he printed money too, folks. And then the COVID hit. Um, and then Biden is you know, but I think Trump printed. I have to look at the number, six trillion something. Uh, Biden is going to make, you know, Obama look thrifty. Uh, we're going to be 50 trillion in, in um, normal debt. If you figure in our unfunded liabilities, I mean, we're, we're so bankrupt, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to turn 62 this year in December. And, I, you know, I've been him hawing around, um, depending on the economy. Do I draw my Social Security or don't I? Um, what I've decided now, because I believe it's going to be insolvent, uh, no one's fixing it. No, They're not doing what they need to do in Washington. Um, they want to keep the economy propped up, uh, none, especially the Democrats. They don't want to give up any of their socialized spending. You can't get rid of anything. We've got to have it all. Matter of fact, we need more. Let's print more money. Um, and the Republicans uh, aren't really much better. Um, so I just don't see them fixing anything. So um, my thinking is, I'm going to draw my Social Security, but I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to take the money. I'm just going to invest it every month. I'm not going to spend it. For, you know, I'm going to just uh, figure out where I can put it and, grow, and draw, draw the most interest, and I'll just keep keep doing that for the next four or five years. You know, unless you know we go into economic apocalypse, then obviously I'll, I'll be spending the money. Um, so look at the Middle East. Uh, Israel is under. Um, uh, same, they're having the same things here. You know, they're rioting. There's a left, radical left wing that wants to um, install their government. Um, and uh, ben, 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 Benjamin Netanyahu is having the um, fight of his life right now when he's dealing with some health issues. Uh, but the problem with Iran, and um, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, with the nuclear Iran, you have to realize that these people, um, not all of them, but uh, the people in control, have no value for human life. And because someone's made the argument, and it's a good argument, they're a sovereign country. What the hell, what the hell business do we got telling them they can't have a nuke? Um, well, it would be like Hitler getting a nuke, but even worse. Um, uh, they're bad actors. They're, they're, the, they're, they're the greatest terrorist state in, in the world. Um, and when they say they're going to blow Israel off the face of the earth, they literally mean it, folks. Uh, and so you just can't let these folks have a nuclear weapon. Uh, and I believe now it's too late. They're going to have a nuclear weapon. Uh, that's a game changer. Uh, so, you know, we got nukes, nuclear submarines parked off North Korea. Um, we're heading for probably a war with Iran. We're heading to war with Russia. And China is setting up here watching us, literally, Biden has drained our strategic oil reserve. He's destroying our currency. He's compromised big time, right? Um, and he's gave so much of our ammo and missiles and um, uh, I think it's the Javelin missiles. It will be 18 years to resupply. We're, we're running out of ammunition. And he advertises it, right? Well, the reason we're sending cluster munitions is we got no ammunition. A certain ammunition. Uh, I think it was something millimeter shells, but uh, uh, it's not good, folks, what, what's going on. And so um, what I really want to talk about now is, um, uh, it, and by the way, keep prepping, folks. <laughs> keep prepping and certainly keep praying uh, for this country and for revival and for us to turn back to our Judeo-Christian roots. You know, morality, a moral people, the nuclear family, um, uh, we're, on a, we're on a bad road. We're, on a, we're heading down a bad road. Before I lose the thought, too, go see Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Y you have to go see it. It's part one. It's about AI. Um, the villain of the movie is this artificial intelligence, Skynet, basically, right? And uh, it, I had no idea. I was going, thought I was going to watch an action flick. I like, I like the um, Mission Impossible franchise, um, you know, um, 
thought, you know, going to go see a, you know, nonstop action flick. And it was. It was nonstop action. But I didn't realize it was about AI ending up in the wrong hands and what, what can happen. Um, but I heard the other day that right now uh, our commuted, computer technology doubles in, in um, its ability, you know, smarts, whatever you want to call it, every five years. So every 60 Every 60 months, it doubles in knowledge, or the computer, the computer systems. AI, it will multiply 5,000 times or something to that in five years. Um, it's absolutely frightening. I posted in the community post, Revelation 13, I think it was 15 through 18. It's about the mark of the beast, how it gave power to the beast to exist, you had to take the mark in your forehead or your right hand, and you needed that to buy or sell, and it was the mark of man, the number being 666. Interesting, uh, that Mark Zuckerberg's little logo now, have you seen that? It's 666. Uh, it's like a six one way, then on its side and another way, but um, there are three sixes there. Uh, and he's refusing under subpoena to testify. They want to know about the collusion with the government, and uh, I believe they're going to... Um, send him an arrest warrant or something if he doesn't come in and testify. Uh, so Joe Biden, McCarthy, right? Uh, McCarthy is, um, I didn't like him. I didn't want him to be Speaker of the House. Um, but, you know, that's who we got. And um, if, if he doesn't do what we what we're, want him to do, you know, they need to remove him. Um, but he's saying now that, you know, with all this overwhelming evidence on, the, on, the, on Joe Biden and the... Um, criminal activity being compromised, taking money from the CCP, Ukraine, another nation. They've tracked down 17 million now. The Bidens have no product, folks. They don't own a factory. They don't buy and sell real estate. They have nothing except um, their ability to give favorable treatment via their position in the government, Joe Biden, as vice president, as senator, and now as president. Um, He's selling his influence. And uh, they've got, I mean, it's overwhelming. Trump, they impeached twice for bullshit. He was guilty of nothing. It was a political witch hunt. It was a weaponization of the DOJ, uh, the FBI, and the CIA, and, and all of it, right? Uh, that's what communist countries do, by the way. Um, that's what they do. Um, Bo, Joey is actually guilty. Guilty as charged. Um, there's a list, ever-growing list, of, of crimes against America that Joey has committed. Um, he should have been impeached on day one. So finally, all this stuff coming out, right? Um, McCarthy says, well, we've got to do an impeachment uh, investigation. I forget the verbiage. Um, uh, no shit, Kevin, you think? Um, and not only that, Christopher Ray. And Mary Garland, while you're at it. But Joey's the top of the food chain. Uh, but they all need to be impeached. And, you know, I think they should all go to prison. But right now, you know, they're saying all this stuff. America is literally burning from, in, you know, burning to the ground. Uh, it's corrupt as hell. Um, we need people like Trump that hardly sleep and burn the midnight hour. Because uh, Trump knew, how, you know, the guy is a workaholic. We need Trumps. We need that work ethic. Because now what they're going to do, folks, they're going to they're going to take August off, you know, paid, of course, at their hundred ninety thousand dollars a year, whatever the hell they get, uh, somewhere close to two hundred grand. Uh, they're going to take August off. They need a vacation. No, uh, actually, bullshit, folks. Uh, our country needs you right now to be doing what's right, and you should take August and use it to impeach Joe Biden, Merrick Garland, and Christopher Ray and fight for this country. But, uh, you know, they're going to go to their private yachts and uh, vacations to wherever and um, drink, you know, probably hanging out with some Democrats, you know, getting drunk and partying and, oh, yeah, we get back to Washington. Yeah, we're going to, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. You know, we, we had to give a talking point because there was a lot of heat on us because, uh, you know, it's overwhelming evidence. I mean, we all know Joe's crooked as hell. Um <clears throat> So I, I read an article, too, last night. Just doesn't it piss you off, folks? Uh, my work ethic is when you're, business, when you're in business, which I've been in business for myself since, oh, 
85, started out in the car business, uh, then got into real estate. Um, but um, when you have a business to run and there's customers and uh, expecting you to be available, I mean, you know, you kind of got to do your job. Uh, why don't you fix this country, uh, Republicans? And, and then after the hard work's done and we see you've actually accomplished something, uh, then if, you, you know, if there's time to go take a vacation. But right now, while we're steering down World War III, the greatest depression and um, the loss of our constitutional republic, taking a month off doesn't sound like a great idea. Now, um, if it was the Democrats, by all means, because that would be one month they're not passing uh, liberal, communist, woke bullshit. Uh, but um, anyways... So I read an article yesterday that Trump could be indicted and arrested as early as today. Apparently the grand jury in Washington meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So they thought something might happen Tuesday afternoon. And, uh, you know, it's bullshit charges. It's, it's a weaponized DOJ. Um, I heard from a pretty good source that the 16... Um, Republican alternate electors, nothing illegal here, folks, with what the Republicans did. And whenever there's a contested election, Democrats have did it too. They've had their alternate electors. Uh, but, you know, um, we have a crime syndicate in Washington, D.C. right now that uh, is trying to protect the regime and make sure that uh, Donald Trump is never president again. Um, so um, I've, I've heard what they tell these people, and their average age is 70, that they, this is, and this is exactly what um, totalitarian regimes do. If you'll sign this saying that Trump made you do it, or he called you or said, you know, I need you to be an alternate elector, if you sign that it was Trump, we'll give you immunity. Even though it's not true, we need you to sign this and swore an affidavit and, you know, that it is true. Um, this is what they do. Um, so, um, Somebody that's 82 years old and is looking at 14 years in prison. Uh, and you've got people, you know, you've seen these interrogations. They can, they can be pretty brutal, right? Uh, for me, uh, that would be a non-starter. As a matter of fact, I'd probably punch the federal person that tried to get me to do that. I'd probably knock them right on their ass because uh, it's just bullshit and um and then I would, we can go to court about why I struck him, saying, hey, guy wanted me to sell out my country. He's, 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 he's a criminal. He's violated his oath of office, and uh, he should be fired immediately. And um, right now would be a good start. Why don't you fire him? Um, mm -mm. So we'll see. Um, and what they're trying to do in Georgia, apparently they're trying to file bogus racketeering charges, when the real racketeering is uh, the... The regime uh, that's weaponized the DOJ, I mean, they should all be arrested. I mean, maybe eventually we can get there and we can have some justice and these people can lose their pensions and be put behind bars for the rest of their life. Um, you know, I, th I, think, I, think, I think good wins eventually, but, you know, I think the days are going to get darker before they get brighter. Um, but what they're trying to do in Georgia is to say, well, if we can get them for, you know, illegally accessing a voting machine and, uh, um, you know, the call with um, Raffenberger. Uh, and they're trying to do this something similar in Arizona, and they're trying to do it here in Michigan as well. Um, and it's all bullshit. It's, it's just completely, you never thought I'd see this in our country, folks. It's, it's sad. It really is sad. Um, so I know that people have been pretty beat up by politics, and there's a point where you just want to wash your hands of it and walk away. Can't do it, folks. Um, surrender is not an option. Uh, you'd be spitting on the grave of every patriot from the Revolutionary War to the battles of today that gave their life for this country or an arm or a leg uh, that sacrificed so much. Uh, we, we have to stay uh, and Look, at I get as depressed as anybody, but... Um, uh, if you got to take a couple days off and turn the news off and unwind, great. You know, recharge your battery. 
um, uh, do it. I mean, you know, everybody should take some time to do that. But um, then you got to jump right back in. And um, if we ever take our country back, I want to have a uh, get together here at uh, Cold Creek and have a pig roast or um, fry some steaks and burgers and hot dogs and uh, and celebrate. Okay, um, but um, it's going to be a while before we get to that point. Uh, I would, um, and there was an article a friend shared, uh, Jim Rickards, Rickards, I think he wrote, um, I, I bought one of his book, uh, one of Currency Wars, I think, I think was one of his books, uh, that I read a while ago, but, um, uh, he thinks there's going to be retaliation from Rus Russia, I think it was him, and, and we're going to see the grid, uh, take, um, um, uh, a real hit to where it's not coming on real, you know, for a long time. Uh, that would be terrible. Um, it's almost worse than nuking the country. Uh, if you were to kill the grid and, and uh, really damage it to where it's like a year to get power again. Uh, on that note, Biden is ta they're talking about getting rid of gasoline generators. Um, you know, you know, I I'm gonna have my gasoline generator. They can pry it from my. Uh, cold, dead hands. <laughs> They're not taking my generator. What, these people are nuts. Uh, and then I, I never even read the article because I just thought it's so stupid. They got a plan to block out the sun. Uh, I don't even know how they do that, but um, no, no. Um, and, and by the way, um, go look through the record heat records. Um, Texas during the Civil War was like hitting 120. Uh, well, be, you know, um, so um, I'm not going to, we have some real issues with this world right now. In my opinion, a change of a half a degree uh, average temperature is uh, not a big issue to me. Um, a nuclear Iran is an issue. Um, what's happening to our country uh, is an issue. Um, world War Three is an issue. Uh, AI is an issue. Uh, the climate, not so much. And if it's all radioactive wasteland, what difference does the climate really, you know? You, you got to think, uh, liberals, where to put your effort. And, and you know, um, the Ben Franklin T, if you know that, you know, you, you write down on the one side your, uh, what the issues are and you prioritize on the other. Uh, if you do some critical thinking, um, man-made climate change uh, probably isn't high on the list. And uh, I'm not talking about taking care of the environment because we all want, I mean, everybody just agrees with that. Clean air, clean water, and clean soil. Um, but they're, they've, th that's not what they're talking about. Uh, they're talking about um, uh, an agenda that I think is political myself. I just think it, it's non-existent, it's bullshit, and it's... Um, a political agenda to take power from us and uh, give them control over um, our energy. Um, America is setting on um, resources that the world would be jealous over. They are. Oil, natural gas, coal. Uh, we could be just a wealthy nation, folks. Um, really heading for the stars. And uh, they're crippling us. You know, these, these freaking communists that have... Uh, uh, infiltrated our government. So, all right, I've rambled on long enough. I'm going to end it here. Um, I know um, uh, it's always darkest before the light, okay, folks? And um, uh, there's going to be more things that are going to really depress you. you know, <laughs> I don't always remember. I'm watching Bill Bailey's YouTube. You got the antidepressants so, so we can, you know, uh, not be so bummed out after we watch his video, but uh, hey, life is still good. Take time to enjoy life, you know. Uh, go, go, um, go rent a boat. Go for a boat ride. If you have a boat, go put your boat in. Uh, go, go canoeing. Go swimming. Go camping. Uh, have fun. Uh, but you know, we we can multitask, right? Um, but um, stay engaged. All right, my friends. That's it. As always, um, keep prepping and keep praying. Um, Pray for America. Pray for revival. Um, just keep grinding, folks. Uh, I've told you this before that, you know, 
Once in a while, you'll find one of these stones that's got a hole through it. And you think, wow, how'd that hole get there? More than likely, for eons, it sat under a ledge or something where water dripped off and just went drip, drip, drip. And over time, water, because it was, resi re you know, resistance is removed with persistence, uh, relentlessly struck every time it rained. Dri that same spot, drip, drip, drip. So over time, no, folks, that even a drip of water can cut a hole through solid granite, okay? Just got to keep grinding, all right, my friends? That's it. Uh, love you all. See you, bye.